Why do scientists support the Big Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory states that from 13.8 billion years ago our universe has begun as an infinitesimally small, infinitely hot, infinitely dense point called singularity. This singularity expanded and cooled, going from very, very small and very, very hot, to the size and temperature of our current universe. Scientists have gathered a lot of evidence and information about the universe, where the Big Bang theory seems to be the most correct one out of the all theories about the origin of the universe. First evidence, in 1929 astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding where the galaxies appear to be moving away from us, redshift, this supports the idea that the universe was once compacted. Second evidence, in 1965, Radio astronomers Arno Penchers and Robert Wilson discovered what we now call the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, that comes from everywhere in the sky, which supports the idea that after the Big Bang their early universe was very hot and it cooled down since radiation have been shifted from visible light to the microwave background radiation we see today. Third evidence, the observed abundance of hydrogen, helium, deuterium, that is a proof the entire universe was once a really big star where fusion chains occur to create deuterium, helium and other elements, as proposed by Big Bang theory that protons and neutrons could fuse to make stable deuterium nuclei, deuterium nuclei react to make helium, three nuclei, and helium. Three nuclei react to make the stable helium, four nucleus. Fourth proof, in the early 2014 scientists discovered the existence of gravitational waves that means the rapid expansion of the universe in the moments after the Big Bang actually happened. Philosophically, Big Bang should be a reference to start universe creations. Otherwise, we should seek for a background to allow Big Bang happen. And then we need to seek for creation of the background. This procedure is infinitive. 